the octopus population absolutely took off. I'm Dr. Keith Hiscock, MBE. I'm an Associate Fellow at the Marine Biological Association here in Plymouth. We had an outburst of common octopus, which the fishermen immediately discovered because they were going into their pots. When we come to things like outbursts or blooms of octopus, long-term data and information is really important. And when I first spotted an octopus um, out at the Eddystone Reefs in 2019, um, I did a little bit of homework and I looked at the Plymouth Marine Fauna, which was a publication last produced in 1957, and which documents all sorts of fascinating information about occurrences of marine species, about outbursts of marine species, about when they reproduce, how they reproduce, uh, their larval biology. Uh, really important information for assessing importance uh, and sensitivity and so on. And that told me that there had been an outburst, it was called a plague at the time, of common octopus in 1900, another outburst in 1950, and now we're seeing from the French side of the channel that there also seems to be an outburst in the early 1920s. We can say, you know, it has happened before. The octopus outburst may be just one of several changes which are occurring as a result of um, seawater warming. The seawater warming, you know, it doesn't sound very impressive. It's only a sort of about two or three degrees um, in the last, say, 10 years over and above average. But that's enough for certain species which are used to warmer waters to come in. Um, we don't know exactly why it happened in previous years, except it does seem that uh, there were mild winters. So perhaps an octopus bloom follows on a mild winter. And that's where us marine scientists need to get together so that the oceanographers who collect seawater temperatures, the marine biologists who make observations, can help to fit bits of the jigsaw together and determine what caused these particular events.